All right, you want to do something fun? You want yeah. to have some fun here? All Absolutely. Right. Okay, Let's here's go. what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you 40 questions, and we're going to figure out how Canadian you are. Ready? <laughs> this is called the Great Canadian Question. I'm going to get deported. In the long-standing Canadian tradition of Terry Fox, Beavers, Moose, and the Littlest Hobo, it's time for the Great Canadian Questionnaire. Ready? Yeah, Here we go. go. 40 questions. A point system out of 100. We'll figure out how Canadian is Matt Lane. Here we go. Okay. Have you ever gone cross-country skiing? I can barely walk and chew gum. No. Do you own any defunct Canadian team merchandise? Do you have a like Expos a, hat? Do you have a Quebec oh, Nordiques jersey? Maybe a Vancouver Grizzly shirt? I got, I, I got an Expo hat somewhere. He's I got an I Expo hat. He's on the board. Yes. Here we go. Do you ever buy milk in a bag? <laughs> Is there any other way? Exactly. <laughs> now, do you have the question mark magnetic cutter for the milk in the bag that used to be on everybody's fridge? I did. I don't presently have it now, but when I move into my new house, I will get one. Now, when you get this new house, will you have a driveway? Yep. Okay. How are you going to clear snow off that driveway? Are you going to have a shovel? You're going to have a snowblower? You're going to have an ATV with a plow on it? Uh, snowblower. Have you ever shoveled anybody's driveway for money? Yes. You ever shovel anybody's driveway for free? Yes. Uh, do you ever, as an adult, wear snow pants? No. At what age did you first ride a snowmobile? I've never ridden a snowmobile. Never like ridden a snowmobile. No. Two in a row. No. Never ridden a snowmobile. Can you speak French? I can barely speak English. <laughs> did you ever own a collection of miniature hockey sticks? Yes. Have you ever gone camping in a provincial park? Mm, no. Have you ever gotten drunk at a cottage or a trailer? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Have you ever threatened to leave a family weekend at the cottage because you got in a fight with your family member? <laughs> That's a great question. Yes, definitely. Knowing my family. What kind of peanut butter you got at home? You got the craft? Oh, the peanut butter? Yeah, craft. Is it in the cupboard or in the fridge? Cupboard. Okay, some weird people keep it in the fridge, and I don't know why. Look into that camera right over there. Yeah. With your fingers, show me what's the biggest fish you've ever caught. The biggest fish I've ever caught? Uh, probably that. Got a foot? Have you ever gone snowshoeing? No. Have you ever seen a live moose? Yes. Have you ever seen a dead moose? Yes. Where did you see the dead moose? East Coast Canada. Okay. Driving to Newfoundland through Nova Scotia. Roadkill? Yep. Yeah, that's it. You're not out there bow hunting moose, are you? Oh, God, no. I, I wouldn't have a chance. <laughs> not against a moose, probably. Yeah. Okay, so you live right close to it. Have you ever been to Niagara Falls? Oh, so many times. Have you ever been to Niagara Falls for a wedding? Not yet. If you were out in the wild right now, could you field dress an animal or clean a fish for eating? What is, sorry, field dress? Yeah, field dress. I think the fact that I'm questioning what that is kind of Absolutely. indicates what the answer is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> so couldn't like uh, clean a fish for eating either? Take the bones out, get the fillets? No? No, I'm the guy that ordered it at the restaurant waiting for it. Gotcha. <laughs> That's making me hungry right now. You ever been to Canada's Wonderland? Yeah. You ever thrown up at Canada's Wonderland? Yeah. Have you ever seen a band at Canada's Wonderland? No. Okay, what kind of beer did your father drink growing up? See, the thing is, my dad's a UK immigrant, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, Stella. Stella. So I'm assuming since he's UK, he drank it warm? No. No, never. No, no, no. Always so, cold? No, my, my, that's the thing. My dad's UK, but he's like posh UK. You ever take a picture next to a landmark on the Trans-Canada Highway? Is there a picture of Matt next to the Sudbury Nickel, uh, the Wawa Goose, the Big Apple? Weirdly enough, I've never actually like been much of a picture guy to be honest with you and it's because i have this mentality of i just want to be in the moment and not want to ruin things but like I'm, I'm trying to force myself to take more pictures now because my memory's starting to go i'm only 26 about to turn 27 but my memory's already gone so sometimes i just go scroll through my phone like, oh yeah i did that but no i didn't do anything like that have you ever been to an nhl hockey game yeah have you ever met an nhl hockey player not in uniform yes who wayne gretzky Whoa, two points for that one. The great one? Yeah. How did that happen? He was born in Brantford, and I was oh. also born in Brantford, and we met him, my family met him and his dad at the same time. Everybody met his dad. I met his dad oh, once, and I never Wal played an ounce of hockey. Walter's, Walter's amazing. Yeah. Have you ever taken a Greyhound bus or a Via Rail to another province? Oh, yeah. How many provinces and territories have you been to? Name them now one by one, and I will count with you. Okay. Um, Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, um, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland. I, and the thing, I think that's it. I've never been out west yet. Have you ever been up the CN Tower? 
I, I, ha- I once. Could you tell me in meters how tall is the CN Tower? Take a guess. <laughs> if you get it within 50 meters, I'll give you a point. 5,000. 5,000 meters? I don't know. How long's a meter? <laughs> Three feet. <laughs> how would I know that? It's 553 <laughs> meters tall. Every Canadian should know it. Listen, C's get degrees, man. I'm not. <laughs> I, I, I'm a musician, not a mathematician. <laughs> Have you ever been hospitalized after skiing, snowboarding, or tobogganing? Uh, skiing, yeah. Skiing, what'd you do? Messed up my ankle. Messed up the ankle? Yeah, I tried to do a jump to be cool and impress a girl. It didn't work. Did not work. I wiped out bad. Yeah, so did you have to go down in, like, the ski patrol or toboggan? Yeah. Ah, that's the most embarrassing. It was oh. funny, though. Everyone got a good laugh about well, it. Well, lucky you right now. You're going to clean up at the points because not only do you own plaid flannel clothing. Yes. You're wearing it today. Yes. <laughs> Three points right there. Let's go. Can you make your own maple syrup? If you were out there in the wilderness, could you tap a tree? Could you boil down some sap? Could you make some syrup? If I had the step, sure, but like in general, probably not. No, you don't have that knowledge committed to memory? No, I'd rather just eat it. How many issues of copies did you own of Big Shiny Tunes? Ooh. The thing is, uh, so my parents were both divorced twice before they had me, so I have four half-older sisters and that was their prime because I was like, I'm a 90s kid, right? Mm-hmm. So like 96, so I was in the later half. So they had so many copies of it. Me personally, I'd maybe say two or three. Have you ever lived somewhere that's heated solely by wood stove? No. Have you ever gone to work wearing long johns under your clothes? Yes. Have you ever played road hockey? Yeah. Did you ever cause any property damage or physical injury to yourself or others playing road hockey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened? I, uh, I've broken a few windows. Have you ever had to deal with a wild animal? Have you ever had to face off and chase a wild animal off your property? Yes. Raccoon, squirrel, what are we talking? Armadillo? Uh, pig. Pig. I lived in the country. So after I left Brantford, I ended up living in Coburg for 10 years. And I lived in the country outside of Coburg. And one night, it was like, this was like two in the morning. Um, some, th- there was a farm next door and somehow a pig broke out, ended up on our property and it was two in the morning and all the mirrors. <laughs> Have you ever owned a copy of Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill or Shania's Twain's The Woman in Me? The Woman in Me, yeah. Uh- Oh, you got to understand, but Shania is just the best. Were you ever involved in scouting? Were you a beaver? Were you a Cub Scout? Were you yes. a scout? Yes. Oh, I hated it. What were you, beaver scout? Both. Both. I was in it for years. Have you ever gone to the bathroom outside in the winter? Oh, yep. Number one or number two? Both. <laughs> you ever been ice fishing? No. Do you sleep with the window open in the winter? Yes. I'm a, I'm a furnace. Do you have a fan on as well? Yes. Did you ever own a tabletop hockey game? Oh, yeah. Okay. Was it the Wayne Gretzky All-Star? I wish. No. Do you ever live in a house with a wood-paneled basement? Yes. Was there a dog playing poker in a picture in that wood-paneled basement? No, nah, my parents weren't cool enough. When was the last time you made a box of craft dinner? <sighs> Honestly, probably when I was still living in Oshawa and not having any money. Uh, <laughs> not that I have money now, but I have a bit more money now. So you have not made a box of craft dinner this month? <sighs> not yet. Have you ever been featured in the local paper or on the local news? Yes. On both? Yes. Okay, have you been around a campfire this year? Um, no. Moving <laughs> on. Have you ever been to a campfire after a wedding? No. Last one. Have you ever bought in a bag of firewood from the side of the road? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not good. A thousand you're not, percent. You're not supposed to do that. I bought it. The guy just chopped it, though. But and then you're going to take it to another area where there could be ash beetles. There could be all kinds of stuff in your firewood. You're not supposed to transport firewood to different areas. Well, the salesman didn't inform me of this information. <laughs> they never do. It's always a scam on the side of the road. All right, man, you're coming in at a 45. That's pretty good. It's not bad. It's under 50. It could be higher. I want you to yeah. go out there. I want you to take some more pictures by landmarks on the Trans-Canada okay. Highway. I want you to catch some bigger fish. I'm going to go play Sudbury now and go take a picture in front of the nickel and send it to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Matt Lane, thank you for coming in and being a part of the Great Canadian Questionnaire. Tune in next week for the Great Canadian Questionnaire.